I'm Kate Thorpe. Uh, I'm the site manager at RSPB Middleton Lakes. Uh, we received Pebble funding in uh, September 2020 um, to help us manage our wetland habitat, for, mainly for waders. So the issues we had were a lot of our waders get flooded out in the springtime um, due to small level rises in water level. A bigger issue we have is we've got invasive species such as Crassula hel helmsi, um, we just call it Crassula, uh, occupying our scrape areas and our scrape areas are some of our main areas for feeding and nesting waders. So we're stood in front of a couple of our wader bumps which are sort of like over that way um, and these are high ground areas um, that are the same height as some of our other higher parts of this um, area that we're in which is called Jubilee Wetlands um, and they were created by scraping out some of the gravel and some of the less vegetated material out of the water, sculpting it in a sort of teardrop shape so that it doesn't get eroded away with wave action and so that the height of them are at the same height as some of the safe areas for waders to nest on. Um, it's only been 12 months since they were put in and it's provided a really nice gravel substrate for birds like Little Ring Plover and Avocet to prospect. Um, at the moment, because we're in autumn, it's a really excellent place for birds to loaf about on as they sort of molt or as they're migrating. Um, we've got big numbers of lapwing and geese and shoveler and teal that are using that area at the moment. Um, and it's also because it's new gravel that's come out of the water and that we've sculpted it. It's been a really good place for colonising plants such as uh, amphibious bistor and red shank which provide really nice amount of seed and a lot of seed actually that will rot into the water and provide more food for invertebrates and will also provide food for the dabbling ducks. Um, we're currently on East Scrape which is part of the Jubilee Wetland Complex and East Scrape is a uh, sort of a closed off area where we have shallow water and a shallow gradient of land which affords nice muddy edges a variation so that waders particularly avocet red shank the ring plover and lapwing can feed and nest on um, the problem has been that this area sort of behind us and sort of to my right was absolutely covered in crassula it was like a green carpet which isn't great for nesting waders and it's not great for feeding because the crassula covers all the muddy edges that the wader chicks need to feed on and the adult waders need to feed on. So with the funding from Pebble um, we were able to get in a digger and a dumper and the digger scraped out the crassula, dug a big hole and buried it really deep so that the crassula shouldn't come back where it's been buried. Um, and that left really nice muddy bare areas that have reset the clock on this area um, and is allowing pioneer species to come through and it's also benefiting a really rare plant called grass poly which really enjoys being disturbed whether that be through mechanical means or horses footprints um, it's nice to know that this is not just benefiting birds but also really rare plants as well um, this area will naturally vegetate up a little bit more and as it does it'll become more attractive to a wider range of waders so um, this year we've had little ring plover prospecting and avocet but as the sort of vegetation gets more established lapwing will return uh, we'll get oyster catchers and obviously avocet and little ring plover as well so we are stood by um, one of the pits where we buried the crassula and um, willow and rush and it's a bit of a byproduct really because it's produced a nice sort of bare area and this year we've had really nice success with little ring plover nesting on these um, newly created bare bits and it adds a mosaic of bare areas in amongst quite heavily vegetated parts of the reserve um, so that's an, a nice little byproduct of the work that we've been doing. Thanks to South Staff's Water for funding this project. Um, the money's really helped us enhance this sort of wetland habitat.